Hey guys, welcome back. Good to see you. Uh, today I've got a real mixed bag of VHS tapes for you guys. Really, really cool tapes though. Uh, a couple throwaways, but uh, you know, let's get to it right away. First off, the top, a little shout out to my uh, my main man, Johnny Lawrence of Karate Kid. Boom! Iron Eagle. Uh, Johnny, if you want me to send you this spare copy, I will do that. Uh, this is my second copy of this one. This one's not in as good a shape, but uh, definitely a great flick, guys. CBS Fox tape. Uh, of course, Lou Gossett Jr. starring in all four of these movies. Uh, fantastic stuff. It's always a classic. Glad to have that one in the collection. Next up, now this is I just found this, uh, and I also found another copy of it a couple months ago. Uh, the Road Warrior. And this one is the, uh, let's see, you know, this is a 95 Warner Home Video one. But uh, just a good one. Road Warrior. I won't bore you guys with that. We got uh, we had this in another video, but uh, found another one. Definitely cool. Same thing with Mad Max. Uh, this is a Video Treasures one. I have the original as well. This video tre This is my second Video Treasures of this actually. But uh, yeah, great flick. I'll take it. Video Treasures. Uh, maybe I'll sell this one eventually. You only need so many Mad Max tapes kicking around. Now this one. It's one that I really like, guys. And who's that blonde chick in here? Uh, what the heck was her name? Bill Paxton. No, Helen Hunt was in it. Bill Paxton, Carrie Elways, Jamie Gertz. That's right, she was in this. But uh, Twister. Cool thing about this flick was uh, that it was one of the first movies released on DVD uh, around 1996, back in the day. I don't have a copy of that DVD. I'd like to get it, though. It was one of those ones with the kind of the cardboard, you know, when the thing snaps into it. Um, I'm sure I've seen it over the years. I never really picked it up but I'm kind of wishing I had but yeah one of the first uh, you know that first year uh, and one of the first runs of uh, movies put on DVD so it was Twister so a little trivia there for you guys but uh, there it is great flick great flick a little throw away here guys Sandra Bullock Jason Patrick Speed 2 Cruise Control ah I don't know first one was really good though how about that first movie <clears throat> Daredevil this is my second copy of this one. Two thumbs up. I like Ben Affleck. You guys know I like Ben Affleck. I don't know what it is. Um, yeah. Jennifer Garner, of course. Who else is in this? Michael Clark Duncan. Yeah. Uh, Colin Farrell. A good, good superhero uh, movie. I kind of like this one. You know, it's pretty good. It's kind of a cool one. Okay. Let's get serious. Here we go. Boom! Now, I picked this up for five bucks, uh, but it's still sealed, like original steel. Where's my other one? Yeah, I've got the actual, uh, I'll pull it down. V, the final battle, guys. Check this out. Warner Brothers shrink wrapping, still intact, the whole nine yards. Fantastic find. Now, let's see, I do have the other one up here. Oh yeah, the original miniseries. Check this out. So, definitely cool to have both of these. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I was really stoked when I found the original, but then to pick up the final battle. Whew, I mean, this is this is good stuff. If you guys haven't seen V, you got to get on this right away, all you youngsters out there. Uh, just a great sci-fi thriller, drama, sci-fi. I mean, what can you say? Just an all-around great, great show. Mark Singer, Michael Ironside, Robert freaking England. Who are the chicks in this thing? Uh, Sandy Simpson. Uh, what else do we had? Faye Grant, that's what it was. And Jane Badler. Just just terrific stuff, guys. If you have not seen V, you really need to check it out soon. Uh, definitely good. It's probably on Blu-ray by now or DVD. If not, it should be. But, uh, you know, and then they did a remake about 10 years ago. Uh, that was okay too. Uh, what the heck, it was just called V. I don't remember what it was called, but it was decent. You know, it was pretty good. Uh, and I remember going to a Pearl Jam show and seeing one of the actresses uh, coming up the stairs, and she kind of sat like two seats over. We never did get to talking about it, but uh, yeah, I was kind of like that uh, new series as well. But uh, definitely, the original is the way to go, guys. Check out V if you have not seen it. All right. Next, we got William Peterson. Peter Benchley's The Beast. Terror Runs Deep. 
I like William Peterson. I mean, he's great in CSI, of course. Terrific in Manhunter. One of my favorite, favorite flicks of all time. Uh, Larry Drake and Charles Martin Smith also in this sucker. The Beast. William Peterson. Boom. And you know what? It's stuck in there. But, uh, you know, definitely kind of a harder one to find uh, on VHS, obviously. Uh, but a good one nonetheless. So check that one out, guys. The Beast. All right, we got a couple more down here. Some real, real serious ones here. The Hidden 2, part alien, part human, and it's back for seconds. Are you kidding me? The Hidden 2. I love the original original Hidden with uh, Kyle McLaughlin in it. I don't think he's in this one. Uh, it's not even Michael Ontkeen in this thing. Who is this? I don't think I've seen this. Um, the Hidden 2. No, I haven't. But I really, really enjoyed the... Uh, first one. Yeah, shout out to the old video network, whatever that is. But, uh, yeah. Cool tape. Man, this thing's... Yeah, like a little rated R sticker on there and everything. It's fantastic. If you haven't seen the original Hidden, guys, check it out. Really, really... One of my favorite 80s uh, sci-fi kind of action slightly horror uh, flicks. Just, just awesome. So I'm gonna have to check this one out for sure. Okay. Now, look at this. Back in the days when everyone believed in magic, a horrifying fire-breathing dragon terrorized the 6th century British countryside. The only hope for the beleaguered citizens is an aging sorcerer, but when he is killed before he can save the people, the task falls on his young apprentice, apprentice Galen. Galen's mission is complicated by resistance from the king and by falling in love by his biggest challenge. But his biggest challenge comes when he is suddenly face to face with the dreaded monster. Is his magic enough to save him? Dragon Slayer! Are you kidding me? Look at this! That's the original cover, the original tape. Uh, it's fantastic. Love it. Look at that. What a find. Uh, just a great movie. Great action. Especially if you like that kind of, uh, you know, fantasy kind of stuff. Uh, it's just it's, it's fantastic. Really, really excited to find this tape. In good shape, too. Um, there it is, guys. Dragon Slayer. There's a lot of fans of you guys, uh, a lot of guys out there that are fans of this film. So, definitely cool to find that. And I got a couple more here that I think are even greater. Beware rapists, killers, and muggers. He's back to get you. The Executioner Part 2! Now, I don't have the first one. I don't think I have the first one. But uh, this is awesome, man. Like, look at the cover and look at the back of this thing. Let's let that thing zoom uh, tighten up here a little bit. Come on. Look at that. It's fantastic. The Executioner Part 2. Chris Mitchum. Also starring Aldo Ray. Jim Draftfield. Directed by James Bryant. Oh, my God. This is fantastic. Oh, it's got the little, it's got the little sealed box here. Let's just open this thing up. Take a little look. Take a little peek. Wait a second. Let's open it from the top. No, let's open it from the yeah, from the top. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Gosling's Limited, whatever that is. Maybe that's Ryan Gosling's dad's video store. Who the hell knows? Check that out. Awesome. Looks fantastic. Looks brand new. Man, the tape looks good and everything. Jeez. 1981 Marquee Video Corp. What a find! Fantastic! I love this, man. I can't wait to check this out. This is absolutely fantastic. The Executioner Part 2. Like, why, at this point, like I always say, why would you get rid of this now? I'll have to come back at this. There we go. There we go. Little flaps in here and everything. All right. And last but not least, guys. War Games Bash 87. Now, those of you who are not familiar with this, of course, this is from the old uh, NWA, uh, which became WCW Wrestling Federation. And this was in 87. And there was a War Games 1 and 2, and they're both on this clamshell VHS tape. Um, yeah, it was just like, a, you know, like a. Just, you know, like a, a regular wrestling federation. Uh, 
not a gimmick, but like, you know, they have a, basically there's a big metal cage and it divided in two and there was like guys, you know, on either side fighting and the only way to get out was, you know, beat everybody and escape kind of thing. But, uh, I mean, you had everybody in this thing. Just uh, to give you a little breakdown here, guys. 1987 match contained uh, Precious Paul Ellering, the Road Warriors, Dusty Rhodes, Nikita Koloff, Ah, Battles of the Four Horsemen, J.J. Dillon, and I believe, uh, who else was in this thing? Ric Flair, Jimmy Garvin, Big Bubba Rogers, Ronnie and Jimmy Garvin, and Precious, and much more. Bash 87 is the example of professional wrestling at its best. And this does contain both Part 1 uh, War Games and War Games 2. Uh, I could not believe that I found this. Uh, just sitting in there in the kids' clamshells, you know, with all the Disney stuff. So, definitely, definitely cool. War Games. I'm going to have to rewatch this one for sure. I haven't seen this in a long time. That's <laughs> awesome, man. Look at these guys. The guy in the back there is a vintage, looks like Mickey Rourke from The Wrestler. Exactly like him. I think that's him. <laughs> Look at that. Fantastic. What a find. Anyways, guys, that wraps it up for today. Uh, do subscribe, uh, leave some comments below, thumbs up if you like this video guys, and we will talk to you guys on the next one. Take care.